Reef DVMs coming at you with a pre-soak dead rock suggestion. Uh, we took a scale and took some of our new dead rock that just arrived and weighed out um, two identical quantities so we can run a little test to show you why we recommend pre-soaking your dead rock for at least two to three days. We took um, three sterile um, canning quart jars and two of the jars we measured out brand new dead rock that we had just bought um, the exact same weight and put them in. The third jar there in the middle we're just going to use as kind of a control. And we're going to fill the jars, um, one of them, with salt water that we've tested and has no phosphate in it. And it's fresh and just made up. We're going to test the other jar with RODI water, which has no phosphate in it. And then, of course, the middle jar we're just going to fill with RODI water throughout the whole entire experiment and test it several times just to make sure that, you know, we don't get, you know, any phosphate contaminant from the metal lids, rings, or jars. So basically what we're doing here is showing why you should soak your dead rock for three days because, as you'll see, by the end of three days, the water will have phosphate in it that's leached out from the dead rock and it's good to get rid of that before you start putting this rock into your tank um, because obviously if it's on the dead rock or coming out of the dead rock and it's in your tank it's probably going to grow some algae so there are two different methods of doing this some people say we'll just use RODI water some people say use fresh salt water because the salt in the water actually helps pull it out of the dead rock so I thought I'd run uh, both to see what happens. I was pretty pleased with the outcome after 72 hours. We're going to use the phosphate uh, HANA checker with photometer one um, to, to do the testing. And we're going to try to be as consistent here as we can. So at the beginning, I test all three of these um, jars. And they all read zero on the phosphate HANA checker. I'm not going to bore you with those results. And then basically, we're going to come back here after 72 hours and retest them and see how much phosphate in parts per million is in each jar and then at that point obviously you can draw your own conclusions but if it's me and my clients I'm gonna recommend that they take their dead rock and soak it in at least RODI water if not fresh salt water to help get rid of the phosphates so here we are we take the the HANA tester take a sample uh, get it calibrated open up our phosphate packet um, you know, shake it up inside with the water, put it back in the meter, and get a result in three minutes. Very easy test to run. I've done a previous video on these meters, folks. Pretty standard in the industry, and they work pretty reliably. They're not perfect, don't get me wrong, but they're good enough to do a test like this to prove a point. And the point is, here is, is pre-soaking is a good thing. So the first jar I did uh, was on the right. It's the uh, 72 hour salt water soak with the dead rock in it and basically that ended up that water ended up picking up the most amount of phosphate at 0 0.11 parts per million again 0 0.11 parts per million is what the the salt water jar on the right picked up the RODI water after 72 hours machine still reading zero so that's a good control it just tells us that basically the the jars the lid nothing leached phosphate into the system and then the RODI water which soaked for 72 hours picked up 0 0.05 parts per million so it still worked too maybe if you soaked it longer it would get more out uh, but either way soaking your dead rock before you use it is probably a good benefit because if you leave that phosphate on folks it's just going to end up probably coming out into your tank and wreaking some havoc so I highly recommend you soak your dead rock before you put it in your tank um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below on the video. Otherwise, like or subscribe us, and uh, you know we'll continue to put out great videos like this. Appreciate you watching. Thanks, folks.